Good morning and welcome back to Subsistence. Okay, it is still dark. Don't know how long we have until sunrise. Um, I have a couple of ally sheets in my inventory and the hammer on the belt. I would like to head out and just upgrade um, the doorway to the compound. So it's a bit dark, but I think we can do that without needing any additional light. Definitely want to upgrade the door. Okay, that's good. 1100 is much better. Uh, let's do the wall too. The door surround. Or doorway as it's better known. Um, and then how much is a... Yeah, I thought we would run out. Um, okay, how much are these stairs to upgrade? Because these are pretty important now. Have you noticed you can't crouch and walk through stairways now? Uh, doorways now. It's a bit of a change, I think. I think I might upgrade this first set of stairs here. And then we'll get some more sheets and do the foundation. Let's grab the flashlight so we can actually see. Yeah, we'll need to upgrade that second set of stairs. And I want another set of stairs just here. Uh, but this is... Yeah, that's looking a bit better. I don't know whether the hunters will particularly target this area, but I feel better knowing if anything follows me up the stairs that this will be a little bit better protected, so... Let's head back inside. So that's all our alloy sheets used, unfortunately. Got none left now. Um, I've been running the refinery. I, am, I think I'm going to turn it off for the moment because we are a bit low on power. We don't have an animal in here, but the... Um, the hutch is full of water and almost full of food, so that's pretty good. I moved the light um, from underneath by the animal housing to just there, so I can actually reach it nice and easily. And I've got that one there, of course. Oh, we've got a boar. A boar down here. Now, will you run if I shoot you? don't particularly need the meat. Let's see if it runs. I think it probably will. But they move quite quickly. Yeah, he ran. Ran into a tree and got stuck. That's a bit of a waste of a, of a bullet. I don't know how far he ran. I can't see him any longer, so I think he's long gone. Off into the... Uh, off into the rocks over there. Okay, now last time we finished off the walls surrounding the compound and got everything boxed in, tidied up, um, and I talked about putting up some defences um, over, particularly on this edge of the compound, um, starting probably along here and working that way. Um, probably some along here, although I do love the look of these railings. Uh, I don't have many nails. That is what is stopping me from doing much more work. But we could make one or two so I can give you an idea of what I'm looking to create. Uh, yeah, we're, we're out of nails after this. There we go. We've gone right down to zero now. Okay, well we need nails desperately. So um, that's going to have to be a target for us moving forward. Um, I've got a lockpick. I'm going to turn that off because I want our power to build back up. I've got a lockpick on me. So what I'd like to do today I think is head out and try our very best to to get some nails. We, um, we need a lot of crates. So before we do go out, let's put a few of these in place and see what it looks like because I might change my mind once we've seen a few of them. Um, so I think last time round I called them, what did I call them? Castellations or something. I couldn't think of the word. It, I couldn't, um, my mind went blank at the time of the recording um, and someone very kindly reminded me in the notes, um, in the comments, that it's um, uh, crenellations. That, that's the word I was looking for. So thank you. Thank you for that. 
I'm thinking of that kind of an effect all the way along. Um, eventually maybe upgraded to metal. Um, but I think I like that better than the window. But we'll see. I'm going to put these in place for now. That will give me a bit of, a bit of protection. So I can just kind of duck and still see. Let's just compare that to the effect a window gives. Yeah, there's not as... Well, I, that's not a very good example. Let me find a window that's got nothing against it. Okay, so this is a clear window up here. So normally, you kind of duck that way. Yeah, it's different. We'll, we'll try it out. I think, um, I think I'll like it. Oh, by the way, I also upgraded the balcony here. Um, just to complete the look. I like all that, that metal with the, with the glass. Especially with the, um, metal stairway going down there. Yeah, I, I think I like it. Um, let's put these back on the belt. I think I like it. Something different, at least. Especially if it goes all the way around. Yeah, you can't really get the full effect of it just yet, but... Okay, let's pop up the fire. That's why I brought the, the wood up with me. Um, oh, and also, I remember last time talking about the uh, labels for the crates, but I didn't show you the ingredients for crafting. So we'll uh, take a quick look at that on one of these down here. So, to make a, a label, um, you need wooden planks, cordage and some zinc fragments. And I think you make it in your inventory. Um, uh, yep. Ooh, do I want to use that, really? Is it just two? Let's just take a quick look. Two, yeah, we can spare two. And I'll make um, three brand new cordage as well. Did I up, up? Nope, I didn't fill up the fire. Just while we're waiting for those items to craft, I'll drop the um, the ash up here. See, so, yeah, I'm still trying to build up that um, that ash for the garden. Okay, um, I've got any fat? No. Uh, I might top up the generator. It's just in the corner here. Yeah, I've been running this overnight. It could be time for me to get a second generator because we just don't seem to be able to keep on top of the um, the requirement. I've got a lockpick, so when we're out and about, hopefully we'll be able to find a, a decent lock crate. I need some food, so we'll have that rabbit stew. I'm going to drink the water that's in the fridge. And uh, actually, that's topped us up nicely. Uh, right, let's make one of these labels then. Uh, I need one more cordage. There we go. Let's craft that. And it's funny because this one is kind of the... It's turned into the ammo chest, I guess. And that's the materials chest. So, yeah. Right, is that still crafting? What's happened there? Has it put it on the one behind? Oh, is that because it's blank? Is that... Oh, okay, let's try this. Maybe I've done that wrong. There we go. It was blank. Nice, okay, so we've got an ammo chest label there. That's pretty cool. Um, one other thing I didn't show you um, is profile stats as well, um, a new feature. So we're playing on Alpha 54, just to explain. Um, it is experimental at this stage, um, so if you do want to give this a try, uh, this whole update is all centred around um, dedicated servers, so not an awful lot of new stuff for single player. Um, and I'm really focusing just on single player in this in this series, obviously. Um, but if you do want to try out Alpha 54 um, and get the new crate labels and one or two other things that are here, um, go to Steam and opt into Experimental. There's some guides on how to do that. 
and uh, you can help test things out. Um, back up your saves though, <clears throat> excuse me, back up your saves if you do decide to do that because um, as with all experimental builds there's a chance that uh, a wipe might be needed or um, problems might occur so make sure you back up your saves. Anyway, um, this is something I didn't show last time. This is profile stats. Um, I don't think it's working entirely correctly. Um, for example, all of my kills are going against the hunting bow and I've been using the recurve bow for a long time. Um, so this is all the stats for which weapons you use, what kills you've made with it, um, the revolver, hunting, how many animals you've killed. I've done no fishing. Uh, it's saying I've not killed any white wolves and I've definitely killed white wolves. Moose again, I've also killed moose. I've definitely killed a boar. Um, so I don't think it's updating entirely correctly. Um, but it's some interesting stats. Um, so zero deaths so far in this game. Um, and again, I don't know whether I would completely trust these figures um, to be 100% accurate, but it's kind of interesting. Um, repairs made 354. That feels 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 right though. 3,293 items crafted. Wow. Um, so you just get that in the uh, tab menu, and it's just underneath your player gear um, area. So that's interesting. Right, okay, what were we doing? We are getting ready to head out. Um, I hear that cougar outside. Let's drop that away in there. Where are you? Right underneath us. Not not going to bother us too much there. Right, I uh, just want to grab probably a berry. Um, we've got three tomatoes on us. We've got water and some protein bars. Let's head out and go and do some looting. We'll head out our new reinforced doorway. That's awesome. Ooh, okay. If we could get another locked crate, by the way. Yep. I went all quiet there just so I could hear what the cougar was doing. Um, if we could get another locked crate today, hopefully we might be able to grab some more alloy sheets and get that done get a bit more upgrading done i'm just gonna head back and look at the banks actually while we're here see what it looks like from the other side that's gonna look pretty cool i think with that all the way around yeah something different um i see some copper up here we need all the materials. I'm going to head back down that way though for some plants, but let's go and grab the copper. I have made myself uh, a new pickaxe, just checking I brought it with me. If we could grab that, I'm going to be quiet just because there's a wolf right there. We'll see if we could grab this scrap and uh, get out of his hair. Okay, right, I need lots of fibre, I need crates, that is what I'm focusing on. If we can find a lot crate, great, but I need crates with nails in. Can't build anything unless I get nails, so we need to, we need to do a better job of getting these simple materials. I think I was asked in one of the comments about um, the possibility of making nails it is it is a an option um if i was completely desperate i would probably make a few but it's incredibly expensive you need um refined metals to do it you don't make it out of scrap if it was just made out of scrap i would be churning out some nails right now um unfortunately you need i think it's iron iron fragments to make nails so or zinc oh I can't remember it's one of the two we'll have a look when we get back in the workbench uh right I'm seeing absolutely lots and lots and lots of scrap around the place 
Oh, I thought I saw some over here. Those ferns are the master of disguise. They look like crates, they look like pieces of iron. Incredible. Very skilled ferns. Um, I don't know whether we want to bother heading down into the water. I really want to look around the valley and do our best to grab as many crates as we can. Oh, yeah, let's go this way then. Um, yeah, kind of forces our hand when you see a bear like that. Got to keep an eye out for rogues as usual. So those profile stats are, are quite interesting, but um, as I say, I definitely killed a few of those um, different animals that are showing as zero um, on camera as well. So not like I've got no evidence, just my word against um, against the stats. But you know, I've got it actually recorded me doing those things. So. So for some reason those uh, those haven't updated quite quite as accurately as maybe you would want them to. Uh, we are still in the month of July, by the way. Very close to the end, I must I must imagine now. Oh carrot. Thought I saw a different colour. I'm seeing a fibre down here. Now down here we do see some lock crates so let's check this area out. I'm not seeing an awful lot else. Um, certainly no crates. I think it's worth just checking. Is that a bit of scrap? I think that's just a bit of scrap here. <clears throat> Long way to run for a bit of scrap and a medicinal plant. Um, I see the other fibre just up by the bear there, but I'm not going to bother a bear. Or a fibre. Let's have a look up here. Being careful. Let's grab the iron. We need that. So I've still got a little bit on this pickaxe here. Um... Okay, fibre up the hill. Do you hear that? I think it's a moose. Yeah, it's a moose. Right, okay. Scared me for a minute there. There was a carrot up on the uh, on the on the left there. I'm still trying to get a bit of wood as I'm running around. That's good practice to get into. I'm using it to top up the fire so that we have a lot more fibre available to us. For crafting, especially building the uh, crenellations now. I'll never forget that word now. Until the next time. It's one of those you don't really use very often. No, are you iron or potassium? Yeah, potassium. Don't really want you, but definitely get you. Um, and maybe we could sort of turn you into some um, fertilizer along the row road. Okay, let's head down here. Again, not seeing many crates. Uh, but I will grab a minute down here and what we'll do is stop and chop some wood. Seen some fibres here, we can pick these up. Need to check my stamina. Anything around us? Uh, I don't think so. I think I see some ore over there on the rock. We'll head towards there now. that yep 
Let's go and grab this ore. Oh, there's a few bits on that rock there. Okay. Right, just while we've got a moment. Um, let's have that. Um, have a protein bar. Have another protein bar. I'll leave it at that for the moment. I don't want to use all of my health things uh, that I bought with me today. Quite so early in the run. Now, can we get up onto this rock? Yes, we should be able to. Um, we'll get this sink. Um, I'm going to need to create or craft a, a few oxygen tanks. Um, oh, I forgot to say, I have put a platform down by where we will be diving from um, and put the um, storage crate that I made a long time ago for the oxygen tanks um, on that um, platform and uh, we really don't have nearly enough oxygen tanks to to really attempt to oh good grief that made me jump to attempt a, a good run down to the cave, so um, I'm going to have to start working on that as well. So we'll try and make that a priority. Let's uh, stop and get some wood. It's quite warm. Actually, the just as I said that, the marker has uh, disappeared, so... I think I'm going to take a drink of water. So our water is the lowest of all our stats at the moment. I'm going to do a quick run by and grab that fibre. I need those things. Just no crates around here at all. Let's see if we can find any. Let's head over into this direction. We haven't been over here in a long time. There might be rogues around here, so I'll have to be careful. Um, oh, yep, bit of iron here. Usually something on these rocks here. Okay, I don't think that wolf double growled, so we, uh, we should be okay. Okay, let's stop and get some wood. And um, we can just take a, a nice look around for unlocked crate. And keep an eye out for rogues, sorry. Just scanning the uh scanning the horizon. I see a bit of potassium sticking out on this rock here. Let's get it. I think it's potassium. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's a crate. Oh, and a bear. Typical. Um, okay. Let's see. Let's watch this bear. We'll grab a bit of wood while we do it and see how far away he moves. I think we can get this. I think we're okay to get this. Very cool. Oh, he heard me. Okay, let's head up this way. And what I didn't do, which was probably not very clever, was I didn't check the map overnight to have a look to see where rogues were. Um, so, yeah. We could run into one at any moment, to be honest. Probably going to have to uh, really think about uh, heading back soon. Okay, there's a, there's a bit of ore on here. 
May as well stop and get that. How much have we got? 11. 11 iron. Bit of potassium. I think this is potassium again. Yep. Okay, let's start heading back towards home. Oh, hang on a second, let's get this crate first. Nice. Okay, let's have a quick look at the map while it's quiet. Where are we exactly? Um, wow. Gosh, look how far we've gone. Yeah, we need to, um, we ne need to turn around. Yeah, we may as well just run back this way. I can't actually quite catch where the marker there's the marker okay we'll just head towards the marker we're bound to run into some resources on the way back home but we've really left it quite late to be out and about but the chances of finding a good lock crate at this time of day are pretty high i've usually found them towards the end of the day was that one down there no nope. Yeah, I've had really good luck finding them towards the end of the day. But we'll make a beeline. And that'll give us the best chance, really, of uh, getting back without it being too dark. It's nice to head out to this, uh, this area. I'm going to fill up some water. Uh, we'll have a... A tomato. Make sure that we're topped up. Always looking for ore, plants. Haven't seen too many crates. I don't know if I've run past a few. <laughs> Could have done. Kind of keep seeing these plants popping up and it's making me zigzag across the landscape. Oh, there's a crate. We need nails. I'm going to go for the nails. Yeah, there's a couple of walls around here. We do this quietly. He should back down. Okay. Let's go back for this plant and then we'll head back along our usual route. And I think maybe we've timed it just, just right. It's not too dark yet. You see a plant. They really stand out. One of those things, when you first start the game, you think there are no plants anywhere, no fibres anywhere. You can't see them for looking. Um, but once you, d once you learn to how to spot them, your eyes get accustomed. Um, and they're everywhere. <laughs> they literally are everywhere. I'm going to go for these few. I see a crate down there. Uh, there's a little health crate here. Oh, cotton seeds. Nice. Um, that's just another health crate. Let's carry on running. Let's grab the scrap. Oops. Okay, we are practically home now. Let's just look up the hill. Let's see if we can find a, um, a lock crate. That one that we lost in that previous episode. Maybe we'll be lucky and be able to snag it this time around. Let's see. I'm quite full of loot so there's a good chance that we'll find one and have no room so let's let's try. Okay we've got 31 nails. That's a few. A few of those um, fortifications that we can uh, put together. We'll make some planks up. And that'll actually free up a bit of room too. 
we're really close to base now, so. Let's just check up here. Oh, what's that over there? That is a potato or potato seed. Excellent. Always nice to get them if you don't need to craft them. There's another crate. There's another plant. I think I'll just go for the crate. <laughs> We're really close to home anyway now. Yeah, that wasn't worth it. Have a look over here. Right, there's a crate. No wolf around right now, so we'll grab this. More nails and another plank. I see more fibres, but I'm just going to check for a lock crate first. I see an ammo crate. Let's get the ammo crate. There's a bit of iron on the rock. Let's try and get those two. Uh, there's a bit of cloth in there as well, which is kind of unusual. Um, oh gosh, I hear a cougar. Okay, let's head back. I think we're good. Timed it just right for the light, I think. Shouldn't need the um, flashlight on too much. I'll head down. And then we'll just run back along to the base. Ooh. Do you hear the cougar? Need the casings. I do need the casings. Be brave. We can run. We have health kits. That was a bore. You made me jump. Oh my gosh. Okay. Really did make me jump. Oh, look at all the fibres over there. I want to get back though. Let's, let's head back now. Right, let's put a flashlight on. And will the main steps be empty? Allowing us to get in nice and quickly. Looks like it. Okay, we're on our platform now, so I feel a bit happier. Good. Okay. Now, we left the mining drill running, which... Oh, did I turn it off? No, I turned it off. Okay, we'll turn it on now. Let's head inside. Turn the flashlight off, light on, and let's get some fuel going. Um, so we'll grab the stuff out of there, drop that in there, put the fire, the water on the fire. Let's head upstairs, get the light on first, and top that fire up too. Awesome. Okay, there we go. Right, sorted. Um, let's put the seeds away while we're up here. So we've got a, a cotton seed, which is great. Any more seeds? One potato seed. I'll take that fuel brick down there with me now. I think we can make a couple more fuel bricks. Oh, we'll just make two. We've got two then. Um, any more seeds? Yep, one more carrot seed. And I think that's it. We'll come and do the garden in just a second. I'll leave the light on. Okay, and yeah, no fuel in there. And you're completely out, so let's top that up. Looks like it got to max power and then cut off anyway, which is great. Love that. Okay, let's put these casings away. Um, I don't think there's anything else to go in there. Okay, we've got 40 nails and some planks. Let's make a couple more of those defences. Um, I'll just head outside and we'll check how many we need and all of that. Uh, okay, we've got 14, 16 um, iron in there to refine. Um, 
maybe maybe we'll do two nice stacks um, and just split that up like that um, we're going to need lots of um, zinc it leaves us a bit short but we'll be we'll be good I think uh, food wise what should we have liver and onions and let's have a tomato and we'll drink a water good let's put the grub in there and the fruits and veggies that we picked up got a, an apple as well okay good stuff and I'll just give myself one tomato there we are okay let's get this light on and let's go and have a look at what we want to put down in this area okay so We'll definitely do another one of those and that. Now this is this is actually probably a better way of doing this because it is cheaper on materials. That's only seven nails as opposed to well ten. Yeah, okay, and five. No, it is more expensive uh, because I have to put two pieces in place. But I do like the look of it, so we're going to go with it. I like the idea of it looking a bit like a castle on the top of the hill. How many more can we make? I guess I should probably leave a few for repairs, but it'd be nice to get the whole one side in at least. Okay, we've got another one ready. Should do a quick check in a second to see if we can see a lock crate around here. Starting to get a bit misty. Very atmospheric. Very cool. This is the main side that I want protected anyway, um, just because this is the favourite um, spot that the hunters like to hang out. Okay, any more? One more? Yep. Oh, and we'll have a look at making some nails, by the way. We'll go and do one batch, maybe. You don't get many. It's really cost inefficient. Just having a look for lock crates. Oh, we've got a... Oh, we've got rogues down there. That's very close by. Yeah. Just in the top of the birch forest. All this area to the south is clear, so we could do a bit of looting around there in the next day. Um, yeah, okay. I don't want to be in the map too long because it is difficult to, to see. Uh, where are we? Let's head back over here. Right, and let's get that last one placed. So we're going to need four more. And then that will be complete. I really do enjoy the look of that. It's still nice and open, but there's... Oh, look at that! That lights up behind, even though it's actually shining at the piece of wood. And it actually illuminates the area better. That's a bit of a trick, isn't it? Anyway, we shouldn't uh, waste that flashlight battery. Right, let's go and have a quick look at making some nails. Turn that light off for a second. Right, nails. What do we need? Yeah, it's the iron and the zinc. Zinc is just so valuable now. Oh, I don't know whether I want to spend that. Let's see, how much have we got? And two. It's really expensive. If it was just scrap, I, I really wouldn't be giving it a second thought. I'd be making nails a lot. Oh, it's only one scrap. Up the number, the amount of scrap needed. Decrease the iron needed. 
And I'd be all for making some. Most definitely. Um, okay, let's grab some water. Uh, so we're going to need that and that. And what I really should be doing is checking the garden. Let's get that on to refine first of all. And we've got a, a wild boar just next door. Right, let's have a look how many nails. Yeah, see, for those materials, it only made five nails. That's just too, too costly. It should make a batch of ten at least. One would hope. I like that. I like seeing my shadow. That's pretty cool. Right, um... Am I gonna... Am I gonna waste another... Yeah, I think I will. There you go. That made me one more... Piece of, uh... Piece of defence. Oh well. Right, we've got some scrap down there, I think. Is that scrap? That is scrap, isn't it? And a plant. Oh, we've got a wild boar down there. I did shoot one, didn't I, the other day, but... I think it ran away. Go and grab that scrap. Scrap and the medicinal plant. Just not seeing anything else. It's very quiet around here. Is that another bit of scrap? Yep. Okay, well there's a fibre here. Level 2 wild boar. Keep checking just to make sure that no more um, no more lock crates have appeared. Anyway, right, let's get this last one on. Okay, awesome. Well, we've made some progress today. Uh, can I jump down there without hurting myself? I can. Let's have a look from up on top of this rock. I'll grab the fibre. Nothing else nearby. So the tree's in the way a little bit, but I think we get the gist of the view. That's starting to come together. Awesome. Okay. What's that? Is that a crate over here? No. No, it's completely empty. Okay. That's fine. Oh, another fibre. Right, okay. Well, I think that's where I'm going to leave this episode. So, thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.